Alright, so this is going to be a guide on how to program Teleop. And those new to robotics, um, Teleop is the controller um, driven portion of the match. It's the, I believe, minute and a half usually. Um, basically, with this, a major portion of um, a programmer's time in the robotics season is um, for um, Teleop. It's kind of one of the first things that everyone wants you to do because they want to show that um, certain things on the robot can work and so on and it's just um, a big part and hopefully um, this guide can help you get um, almost a, lo a lot of it done really quickly. Um, I guess uh, I can drive, um, dive right into this. Um, basically a few things that you need automatically is this include file and um, since in my first guide I showed you how to um, get the proper drivers and how and just all you once you do is once you put them in the directory and the preferences that I showed you um, all you have to do is include this um, alright so what the first thing that um, you see here and this is I believe just kind of a basic two motor drive that a controller should be able to handle um, there are so many um, guides out there and so many um, and in the help like I've mentioned before can really help you out but hopefully as you can see you kinda have um, the Y1 and the X1 for the left drive and you just um, if you just use this code and I think it really help you to try to understand what's going on here um, but you kinda have this whole threshold and this is kind of a confusing thing but um, if you're one of those people that just like to see and like figure it out um, try messing around with these values um, something that um, another thing that I like to talk about is um, you have this joy one button one six equals equals to one so one in this case is on so what we have here is that when whatever inside this code let's say you just want a motor so like you had a motor you had a motor named um, right. I don't have one, so it won't shut up. But if you had a motor named right at 100, um, basically when you click the six button on the first joystick that you have configured, um, that it would go 100%. Um, what we do need, since um, by the way, this is all in a while true loop, so it's constantly looping through this code, so that um, when you click a button it realizes that the button's been clicked and it's moving the motors at a hundred percent but the thing is when you let go of the button nothing it's still gonna go and, t and still you have this code this code is when um, the joystick six uh, button six is not being pressed zero and then you would have the motor right set to zero so therefore it wouldn't move uh, this is a very important um, step um, other things besides just the joy um, stick one, um, the buttons, because all of them are the same. You just look at the button number and just type the button number in your controller. Um, with these, these are the D-pad. Um, I'm almost certain these are right because I pulled these from my um, I pulled these from my other um, Teleop code. But if not, um, feel free to change them. But I'm almost certain. But you gotta get the point. Is that right on the D-pad is this left on the d-pads this, up on the d-pads this, and down on the d-pad. It's one of, I know all these work, they may be wrong, but I'm almost certain they're not. So, um, yeah, just feel free to use these in your um, teleop code. And and then um, another thing is we do have an option to have two joysticks, and if you ever want to use two joysticks, it's basically as simple as changing this to a one, or changing this to a two like I have done here, or changing this to a two um, it's basically once you do that then the other joystick will be used so an important so basically now I'm gonna show you how to um, how to connect well obviously we know how to connect to our um, NXT brick but I want to show you how to use the rope how to use the teleop and use the controllers all running the program um, hold on, it should load really quickly um, another, th there we go, 
sorry. Select. Um, there's this weird bug that we've been having that when we have the firmware downloaded and all, and we try to run, hopefully I can get this error so I can show you, but um, NXT break. Okay, we're going to click F5 to download and start this program. And the first thing that I do when you want to run Teleop is that you want the joystick control competition in the debug stream. And notice that you get this .rxe was not found on the brick. It needs to be downloaded. And it's just this weird bug that you only get when um, when you're trying to debug and use that um, controller, the sorry debugger windows the joystick control so what I found to get around it is if I just go to NXT brick um, file management utility delete all files like I've told you guys um, you should before and if you just now do this and go to robot NXT or you can either yeah there's two ways of going about this but I do recommend because you can go to NXT brick the joystick um, comp the joystick control FTC and it will give you this joystick control but you have to make sure that you select the whatever your um, whatever your teleop in my sense it's guide 5 and then you do teleop ready running and I don't have joysticks equipped which I could do right now but for purposes it would show that you have a joystick equipped and um, you can then click dual joysticks if you have to and they will show the buttons you click when you use that I'm probably gonna do that just so I can show you guys how that kinda how it looks but um basically um, this is one way of doing it I don't think any other way is better but there is a way where you can where I told you to go to F5 you start the you have to go to the debugger windows and then have the joystick control competition and then you'd start the program and you do the same thing basically this one just shows up with everything I kinda like this one on the debuggers personally but um also, also oh, why are you dying on me this happens sometimes when you um, run multiple files you just kinda have to close a program and it can be a pain and this is kind of a good thing this happens all the time in robot C just kind of a part of the whole thing and if also if you have recent files you can just um, go to file and click that and we're right back to where we started but um I believe like I said once you leave the robot C program you have to connect it again so we have to go to NXT Brick communication link setup and start this all over again. But um, like I said before, with that debug, um, I just recommend getting the controller debug set up when you're doing um, the teleop, just because it's easy and it's always there when you start the program. But um, hopefully, we can do this really quickly. Um, No, debugger windows competition okay and notice you kind of get these values when you move the controller oh like see four zero six and two that was all the numbers that I was talking about before so you can um, figure those out yourself and um, yeah you see the buttons when I'm talking about two, four, one, three, and if you click on this, you can find out that's button eight. You click on this, and I find out it's button nine. And if you click on this, you can find out. Oh, I mean this is just a toggle thing, so I wouldn't recommend um, using this one at all. So, and these are buttons, even though they're pretty hard. Most drivers really won't want to have this as a separate button that does its own. But if you click. I'm actually clicking this joystick and you click this joystick you'll have a button too and then you also have these top two four six five and seven so there are a lot of buttons to use with and usually most people don't use them all but um hopefully that's a good kind of a good um 
idea of like how this the how the controller works and um so yeah uh, mess around with that and I just included our old teleop program with everything on it and hopefully you know just looking through it and now that you kind of understand what while and if and else and all those kind of statements do hopefully you can kind of understand what's going on so yeah um thank you for watching